in second example again we have a uh, complex mechanism um, now you know that uh, first we have to figure out the, the equation that which equation we have to use for um, this type of mechanism um, let's see uh, this mechanism has more than one ground links like one two and three this means uh, formula number one is not applicable we have to go for formula two but there's additional problem in this mechanism we have a half joint so whenever there's a half joint and there are more than one ground links then we have to use equation number three which is m is equal to three multiplied by l minus one bracket close minus 2j1 minus j2 j1 represents full joint j2 represent half joint so in this case we have to count for number of links l joint 1 and joint 2 joint 1 j1 is number of joint which are the full joint and j2 is number of joint which are the half joints so let's count for the grounded links uh, as i earlier mentioned that the ground of fixed links if they are more than one then we have to count all the ground links as a single link so in this case there are how many ground links ground link number one ground link number two and ground number ground link number three so we have to count these three ground links as a single link so let's start number one link two link three link four link five link and six link so number of links are six now count the number of full joints joint number one joint number two joint number three joint number four joint number five and joint number six because this is a multiple joint and joint number seven so full joints are seven i will again count the number of uh, full joints j1 so uh, before counting uh, start the counting um, i will uh, make i will clear this point again that this joint is a multiple joint means that this joint is linking or joining link number four to link number five and also the same joint is joining link number six to these two links so we have to count this joint for two times why because this joint is joining uh, link number four to five and the same joint uh, is joining link number six to these two joints so joint number one joint number two joint number three joint number four joint number five and again joint number six and joint number seven seven joints which are the full joints j2 represent the uh, half joints in this case there is only one half joint so we have to take this number one here just do the arithmetics and you will get mobility or degree of freedom is equal to zero zero this means that this mechanism will not move at all uh, also if uh, without knowing this formula or without counting the number of links and joints if you pay attention to this mechanism and if you look this mechanism for a couple of seconds then uh, you will uh, will know that uh, it's it's nearly impossible that uh, any of the link or joint will move in this mechanism yeah somebody can say that if there is slip it half joint then yeah there is a movement but there is a slip 
is a assumption. So we are not assuming any of the slip in this half joint, which means this half joint will not move because of any of the slip. So if there is no slippage, then this mechanism will not move at all. So it will have a zero degree of freedom by logic and by equation and counting the number of links and joints you will also get the same answer the mobility or degree of freedom is equal to zero uh, to further enhance our capability um, and our understanding about degree of freedom let's move to example number three so here's example number three it's a dump truck um, or uh, loading truck uh, so uh, this drum truck or loading truck um, uh, in a simplified form uh, can be uh, written down or can be graphically represented by uh, this diagram so um, in, in, in the in the in the initial uh, um, question um, we are given a hint that please use uh, equation number three which is m the mobility or degree of freedom is equal to three multiplied by l minus one minus two j one minus j two so let's uh, if they are giving us hint and uh, let's go with this uh, uh, formula and uh, uh, first we have to count the number of links then the full joints J1 and the half joints J2 um, uh, because like this mechanism has more than one ground links ground link number one and ground link number two then for for sure we have to use equation number two or three uh, but I can't see any of the half joint in this mechanism although we are given a hint that use equation number three and definitely we will use equation number three but I cannot see any of the half joint in this mechanism so let's uh, first figure out the number of links that how many number of links and then we'll count number of half uh, full joints and then half joints So the number of links, let's count these two uh, ground links 1 and 2 as a single link. So ground link 1 and ground link 2 are count as a single link. Ground link number 1 or 2 as a single link. So link number 1. Uh, link number 2 link number three and there is a sliding link link number four again i will count both the ground links link uh, ground link one and ground link two are counted as a single link so ground link number one and two as a single link link number one link number two link number three and there is a sliding link represented by A. So links are four. Now count the number of joints. We have a joint number one, joint number two, joint number three, and there is a sliding joint. So number of joints are four. I will count again join number one join number two join number three and there is a sliding joint between link B and A so four joints is there is any half joint no I can't see any of the half joints so J2 is equal to zero put the values of link 
j1 and j2 in the equation number 3 and you will get answer 1 1 so degree of freedom of this mechanism is equal to 1 so that's all for the moment uh, if you have any queries or question uh, about degree of freedom how we can count them if you have any of the issues in counting number of joints or links or uh, figuring out how, how many uh, uh, half joints are present in the mechanism then please let me know and then uh, we can uh, go through the exercise again until you are satisfied so see you again Bye-bye.